You may have heard that there's different kinds of systems out there that remove uh, iron from your water. There's chemical systems that use chemicals and systems that are chemical free like this FOK. But how can a chemical free system possibly work to remove iron? And there's no filter cartridges to, to change? Does it also remove sulfur? Well, I'm going to explain all that and explain to you how it works right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. So an FOK, K by the way stands for Kalox, which is the media inside the unit, is a totally, totally a chemical free system. It removes iron and it removes sulfur, and within certain uh, parameters it can also remove manganese from your water. But how does it actually work to do that? How can it possibly just use air? Well, what happens is this. The system builds an air cap at the top of the tank. And whenever you run your water, your water spray through that air cap. And as it goes through that air cap, it oxidizes or brings out the iron and the sulfur out of solution out of the water. Then as the water passes down through the tank, it hits the media. Well, the media is charged. So it attracts um, oxidized iron and oxidized sulfur particles, etc., and it traps it within that media. As the water passes down through toward the bottom of the tank, it gets to this riser tube. This riser tube uh, runs up and down the whole tank. It's the full length of the tank. But at the bottom of the riser tube is this screen or this, uh, this mesh at the bottom. So what happens is, like I say, it sits like this. So water flows down, enters through the screen, and then heads up through the top, and then heads onto your whole house or cottage or cabin. So as you run water, it continually goes through that cycle. So after three days of use, it needs to clean out all the oxidized um, iron that's that's inside here, so it backwashes to do that. So at a time when there's very little water usage in your home, home cottage or cabin, it automatically backwashes. So when it backwashes, it reverses the flow. So water now flows down through this riser tube, flows out through this screen at the bottom, and pushes the, the air cap that's at the top of the tank, pushes out to the drain, and expands the media to fill the whole tank, expands to the whole tank. So what that does, it flushes all the debris, all that oxidized iron to the drain. After it's done that, it usually takes about 15 minutes to do that, then it sucks in air. And it sucks in air at the top here. So it's a little difficult to see up here, but uh, there's a screen at the top here and a one-way valve, and it sucks air in through here, and that's what rebuilds that cap. How does it suck in that air? Well, there's a venturi. Um, inside here So this is it's an air it's an injector here and uh, what that does it creates a vacuum So as water slowly uh, flows through the unit when it's in its brine or air draw cycle Then uh, this venturi creates that vacuum to suck in air so that uh, it can rebuild that uh, Air cap and then it puts it back into service and then it's good to go for another three days before it has to go through the cycle again. So it is a totally a time cycle. It's, it's not based on water usage whatsoever because we can't keep that iron sitting inside the tank. We have to backwash that out every three days. This FOK works incredibly well at removing iron and sulfur from your water. How much? Up to seven parts per million of iron, up to two parts per million of sulfur, and it can also remove manganese. Now, it, it works at, at a range of between 6.0 and 9.0 pH, but if you want to also remove uh, manganese through the whole process, your pH has to be at least 8.0. To learn more about these air over media, iron sulfur filters, how to install them, how to winterize them, how to maintain them, just click up here and that'll take you to my next video and I'll see you there.